Hello, and welcome to Tales of Vesteria. Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and everything in between, and welcome back to Tales of Vesteria. A uh, little minor update in, as I said uh, last time, I think, I'm going to try and sort out the FPS issue. And I have, it's now at a nice solid 29 FPS, instead of like 50 in slow motion. And the way I did that was by deleting the mod, or reinstalling the mod, and then the V-Sync on it broke, so it was running at a constant like 200 FPS or 1,500 in the uh, the menus, and I could not figure out how to get rid of it. I even reinstalled the game to see if that was causing a uh, issue of some description, and it was not. Uh, oh, a chest. I don't think I can ask this one. Nope. Out of the way, Rose. Let's see what this has to um do this. Are you gonna say anything? Got a request. Church of Rollins. Roger. I'm gonna assume he was part of the um this must be the guild that does Not the merchant there you go. Still, sparrows. Remarkable architecture. Hello? Is there anybody home? If they are, they better have a voice and a body. No one's here. Ghosts? I mean, no guardians, Sarah. No surprise, given that priest we saw earlier. They're all like that. Everywhere you go these days. Well, what should we do? Look for a Sarah who can bless it? Huh. I wouldn't know where to start. I'm kind of curious as to how or what decides whether or not a seraph can interact with saying. Completely hung up on restoring the blessing. You sure? It should be fine. There isn't all that much malevolence around here. And besides, it's not like you can go and save the world all by yourself. Absolutely. The most important thing right now is that you broaden your perceptions and hone your powers. So that we can stand up to the Lord of Calamity, right? You'll have a hell of a time with that if you can't even tell when you're being followed. Who are you talking to? The stained glass? No, go right next to me. Didn't you have urgent business at the restaurant on the main street? What was the name again? Y yes, right, Boris's Canteen. There's no restaurant by that name. You only just figured so, uh, that out. Let's take him down and get out of here. <laughs> oh, okay. See us? Well, fucking clearly, he just nope. fucking He's just that good. blocked your attack. Of course, he can fucking see. Have fun with your human friend, Saray. Or was that huh? accident? This is a human problem after all. Come. But wait, did he block the attack? Like, meant to block it? Or did he block it by accident, kind? And then... You're going to tell me who you really are! Wait, what? Okay. I don't understand, but sure. Let's see what we can do against this guy. I didn't get toward any arts, I thought I just learnt them by existing. And this camera is not helping me. Wait, he knows Sonic Thrust as well? Okay, I need to heal. And I'm gonna do this. Items, yes, on me. Apple gel, 30%, fully restores, don't need it. Um, okay, apple gel on me. Oh! Wow! Uh, I'm gonna retry that. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go. That did fuck all! I don't got the fence down for some reason. It's 
See, that did fucking 800 damage. I can't deal with 800 damage. Oh, I did it! Oh, fuck! That took nearly 20 minutes. Fucking hell. You held back. You'll regret it later. I did not fucking hold back. Fuck you, Dizel. Even your comeback is weak. Fuck you, Dizel. That took way too many fucking tries. So during the inspection, you really were. I must apologize for lying to you, Sergei. It is I who owe you an apology, gentle shepherd. Huh? Only in the clashing of blades may one gauge a man's strength. Might I ask your name? Yes, go fuck Sarai. yourself, you prick. Shepherd Saray, I beseech you to lend me your power. For the sake of Rolands. But we've heard that the Rolands Empire is on edge because of the shepherd. It's true. The knights treat him as a dangerous wild card with a level of power comparable to Cardinal Fortin. Never heard of him. And the church views the shepherd as a threat to the cardinal, and therefore a heretic. The cardinal is the number two figure in the church, first in line to succeed the pope. So is he meant to be quite strong? On paper, then? she's an aide to the young emperor. But in reality, she holds the reins. Verily, and she is said to be capable of causing the same miracles that the shepherd can. The same as the shepherd? What is the meaning of this? Since when have the knights been so brazen as to let themselves into the sanctuary unannounced? Don't tell me you have come here intending to stain the ears of our faithful with foul lies about Cardinal Fortin. Father, I would never. Spare me your noxious dissembling. Get out of here at once. I like his hat. Come to the park. We'll finish our discussion there. Very well, Sergei. Person who nearly cost me a fucking head aneurysm. Brain aneurysm. Wow, he got far away quickly. How many items did I use? One within 67 seconds. Dealt 500 free damage. Inflict two stuns. Four battle gauge. One without a single KO. Reduce the element. Divina power. No, I, I didn't use any items on that last round. I'm okay with this now. Haha, <laughs> go... Fuck yourself, Sergei. Fuck you and every fucking move you ever fucking learn. Fucking dragon, fucking rain, fucking sky rain. Dragon, go fuck yourself. You. Sorry about earlier. I didn't want you to have to see that. Things weren't quite as bad between the knights and the church when the Pope was still around. What he was still around. The Pope. When did he die? Did he die? Pope Macedro was a kind-hearted philanthropist, whom the former emperor greatly trusted. Even the knights would have gladly carried out any order he might give. Wait, what do you mean was? He went missing, about a year ago. And you just didn't tell anyone? As if prepared for the confusion, Cardinal Fortin took the stage, and soon she had seized all political power. So, you think the Cardinal had something to do with the Pope's disappearance? Is there proof? No. Of course no proof. I had the combined powers of the entire Night Squad on the case, but no clues turned up. But any Knight who snooped around the Cardinal went missing. Eighteen of them in all. Sad all. I don't want to admit it, but in order to stand against the Cardinal, we need power that exceeds natural capabilities. Shepherd Saray, I know it is wrong of me to ask, but can you help seek out the true nature of the Cardinal? I guess I don't have any other choice, considering how long I just took. The Cardinal resides at the church in Pendrago, right? I thought commoners weren't allowed inside. Oh, just here for the night. It's true. I'll try to pull some strings on my end to get you permission to enter. All right. We'll meet with the Cardinal. Oh, Fred, just day. I shall make the preparations immediately. Who does Police, he sound like? Please forgive me for dragging your husband into all of this. Huh? Let us reconvene at Pendrago. Once you've arrived, come to the Knight's Tower. He sounds familiar. I know he's not who I'm thinking he of. He thinks you two are married. 
What a weirdo. He's not who I think he is, but it, he sounds very familiar to the voice actor of Double H from uh, Beyond Good and Evil. He sounds like the exact same voice actor, just in that that last little sentence there. He sounded the same. Wow, that feels weird to think about. Right. While we're at it, we can probably tell the higher ups in Rollins our side of the story. Oh uh, yeah, they're gonna believe that. Higher ups are going to be the real problem. What have you got to say? I do the ship, and aren't you? I'm sorry to be unpleasant, but I have a favor to ask you. The Sheriff Sandra, who is the Lord of Land in this town, ran away the other day. I'd be so grateful if you could look for her for me. I'll do it myself, but there are so many aliens. So she was going to the lake. I assume she meant. I think she was meeting the subterranean lake and Canberra cabins. It doesn't be immediately, but whenever you get the time, I'll be thankful. Seems like the Guardian Seraph became a Hellion. But why would it just up and leave like that? Hmm. Is Karen? How do I map? That's how I map. Um. Can I world map? I don't think I can world map. Yeah, world map. Because I think the tavern, or the caravan, caverns that he's talking about there, it's these ones over here. Free melt world map. Well, what? Nice versus the church. Looks like the church and the knights of Rollins really are at odds. And here I thought they were both supposed to protect the people. They are just Heard differently. Heard mentality always prevails when people sort themselves into groups, no matter the situation. It can be helpful in lending authority to institutions that wouldn't otherwise command it. But more often than not, it generates malevolence, leading to great conflict. Like wars, you mean? Yes, in the most extreme cases. Even the conflict between the knights and the church could be considered a war, if on a much smaller scale. War is the people's history. I read that in a book once, and I think I get it now. Would it be better for me not to get involved? What do you think? I want to know. Even if the reality is bleak, it is still part of the world we live in. Then let us go forth. This is your adventure. No, it's our adventure. Mine and those who believe in me. I don't think any dogs have barked at me for a while now. There's the reason why. Is that Dezel? Looks like the dogs are flocking to him. What? You want something? No, I'm just a little surprised. You're okay with dogs? Of course I am. Dogs are silent partners. You haven't given them enough of a chance to know better. But dogs do bark. They only bark because they can sense your anxiety and aren't sure where it's coming from. In other words, it's because you're afraid of them in the first place. Well, I'd argue that they bark at me first. There's a lot of skits happening here. It truly is. I think I'm gonna get sunburned. Edna, do you use your umbrella for protection from the sun? As you can see. Do Seraphim get sunburned too? I guess it makes sense since Edna has really fair skin. Edna's umbrella can be used to avoid the sunlight as well as rain. It can even be used to push back the Hellions. Oh wow! So it's like killing three birds with one stone! Not quite. It's also her signature item, so it's more like killing four birds with one stone. If that's true, then really it's like killing five birds with one stone since she has a cute mascot character attached to it. And, and, it's also something she can change depending on her mood, so that's actually six. I'm like Cinderella with an umbrella. <laughs> I must say, that was a good one. Not to mention a lot of dead birds with one stone. <laughs> okay, we, whoa, what does happen? Oh, I pressed the button on the controller. Let's go check if these caves are the things that I was on about. Oh my, don't those potatoes look scrumptious? Oh yeah, radish bells. They're on the smallish side, but they're super sweet and delicious. They look like they'd go great with butter. That, or you can just bake them and sprinkle with salt. Oh my gosh, that sounds delicious. You know those have got poison in them, right? Poison? Oh, yeah, something like that. Eat enough, and it'll be your last meal. Well, Sight lettuce. you just gotta cook it thoroughly, right? Nope, that actually strengthens the poison. You're even deader now. How about if you cut the eyes off? Does that fix it? Whoops, still dead. Radish bells contain poison in both the eyes and the skin. 
Now you remove all the skin and slice out the eyes, it's perfectly safe. Hey, Lila, where do you think you're going? Well, I'm afraid this conversation is a bit... <sighs> I think she has some concerns about your food safety standards. So they're like potatoes. But like how the Irish, not the Irish, the French people used to think they were. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, the French people used to think that the Irish, uh, the potatoes. I don't know why I keep thinking about the Irish here. It's because Irish don't have enough potatoes, that's why I mean. But the, um, back in the day, the Irish, the French, fucking hell, the French people were starving and they had this huge abundance of potatoes. But none of the people would eat them because they believed them to be poisonous and bland and blah de blah de blah, stuff like that. So it seems like these people are believing that. So, how's it looking for the new hideout? We're still looking into it. Mallory, the Patinal Forest, seems like it'd be an ideal place, though. Perfect timing. We wanted to ask you about something, boss. I figured you'd need me to come along. It's not about the hideout. It's about our job as the Sparrow Feathers. We can't decide on which product to purchase. Mabo buns or curry buns? Which do you like? Mabo curry buns! Isn't that just your personal preference? Nope, it's a rational decision I'm making as the boss of the Sparrow Feathers. This is just what the world needs! The sheer deliciousness that only this combination can bring! Sounds kind of subjective to me. <laughs> Fine, we'll go with that. You guys do all kinds of stuff. That about sums up what we do. And we don't do jobs just for money. I see. I still want to know what that wolf That's why guy is about. Actual living as merchants. <laughs> well, mostly a guild does. I'm the one who gives the okay on bringing out new products. All right, we'll be going back now. Boss, try and drop by the forest of Mallory if you can. Everyone's already gone there. Will do. Take care, y'all. I still want to know, Rose, who the fuck that wolf guy was in, like, the first town. And in Illicles, whatever. Name is... Ow. My back just cracked. Okay, I'm gonna end this one here, maybe? It'll be short. And I have no idea where I'm going. What did you say? Does that refill my... No. Okay. But, <coughs> yeah, I'll see you next time. Actually, what is this? It's a chest I can open. It's a chest I can't open. What are you? Just a demon Do you realize she'd be saying there's no seraphim in the sanctuary? So much teach her what happens to her vile blasphemy. Yeah, I hope you have a nice morning, a nice evening, and a nice afternoon. I will see you all in the next one when we go... Somewhere? I don't know where. I believe that I'm gonna guess. Oh, do I have a journal? That's what I should do. Synopsis? Records? Nope. Fashion? Nope. I'll figure out what I'm doing. I'll see you then. Try everyone.